If you are looking for best bang for your buck, all weather floor liners, absolutely go. We're gonna do a head to head on exactly what the key differences are, what the similarities are. We'll give the win on this area to Smartliner because. Hey friends, welcome back to the shop. If you are in the market for an all weather floor liner for the 2021 or 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe, either the SE, the SEL, limited or calligraphy trim, this is an episode that you wanna make sure that you follow along with. So if you're new to our channel and you haven't seen our previous video, we've already done one install and unboxing video on the WeatherTech floor liners. And on that video and also other forums, we got a few comments. We sure did. And one trending problem with them. So it just so happened to be perfect timing because as we came out with that episode, we were also a part of the 4th Gen Santa Fe Facebook group, and one of their members posted up, they were looking for uh, recommendations on all-weather liners. Perfect. One of the more resounding recommendations were on the smart liners. So we figured what better way to actually do a comparison than order a set for ourselves knowing the issue that we have with WeatherTech and we're not 100% sold on them to see if they are an actual better option. So in this episode, we are going to do a fitment. We're going to do a side-by-side. -side. Dana will share what her likes and dislikes are, uh, which I wouldn't have actually called it out, but, but she's definitely a finicky one with some of these things. <laughs> So she'll call that out. But one quick thing, just information about WeatherTech and SmartLiner for those that don't know. WeatherTech and SmartLiner both have the same limited lifetime warranty. Both of them are made in the USA. WeatherTech is actually made in Bolingbrook, Illinois. And SmartLiner is in Central Florida where they also do all of their 3D custom fitting. Now WeatherTech says that they source all of their materials from within the U.S. and SmartLiner is stated to be made of 100% recycled materials. Now, if you are one that's had probably an older model uh, makes of uh, different vehicles, they used to be formerly known as MaxLiner, but in 2018 they were actually rebranded to SmartLiner. So new name, probably the same products, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I share some of those important details for those that really look at the company and where their products come from to kind of see what the differences are when there's really not that much between the two. And not that that doesn't matter, because it does, but it does. also it has to do with how it actually fits in the car, what are the different materials like, how easy is it to clean? All of those are factors that go into, you know, when I'm buying uh, something that's gonna live in my car for daily use. Yeah. And both of them claim to be 3D custom fit. We've already seen a minor issue with that. So very, very <laughs> curious as to how the smart liners actually fit with their mapping. So let's get started on the side by side. One of the first differences that we noticed between the smart liners and the WeatherTech is shipping. So they both obviously come in a big box and they both come all stacked up on each other, but smart liner comes wrapped in plastic. So that does tend to protect each individual piece from getting all squished up or if the box is damaged in shipping, perhaps that provides a little extra support and protection. Okay, so what we have is the most important floor liner for your Hyundai Santa Fe, the driver. And we have WeatherTech here on my left, SmartLiner here on my right. And we're gonna do a head-to-head -head on exactly what the key differences are, what the similarities are, and really just pros and cons of each of these products. So right off the bat, you can see that there are a few key differences. WeatherTech has a clearly defined puddle area that SmartLiner does not have. The 
WeatherTech grooves are a little bit more narrow than the SmartLiner grooves. So in my experience, that will make the SmartLiner easier to clean as opposed to the WeatherTech. The inside part is higher on the WeatherTech than it is on the SmartLiner. WeatherTech has smoothed out their edge, but it's not lipped. The WeatherTech floor liner is very clearly lipped all the way around. And as for some common shortfalls, both liners will fall short of the gas pedal, leaving space for any dirt, snow, sand, gunk to kind of collect up in the pocket at the base of the gas pedal. I think that is by design, just out of safety protocols by the floor liner company, because you can't impede the gas pedal. Both of them fall short on your left foot rest mat, for lack of a better word. So in the car, the rest mat actually comes up a little bit higher. So ideally, both of these products should be taller in this area and they're not. The other elements that I've noticed that are definitely going to be cons for the smart liner is specific to my 22 calligraphy edition. Smart liner has molded in elements on each side of the floor liner that do not exist on my calligraphy edition. So as far as why these little side moldings exist instead of just being flush and flat like the WeatherTech, I don't know. They both appear to be a nice sturdy material. They flex a little bit, but enough to hold its rigidity. As far as which one I would choose, I don't know yet. Let's install them and see. Installation is the same on both of these. You're going to slide it in and always try to get that inside grommet hole done in first. Okay, so we've installed the smart liner into the driver's side foot well. So you can see the fitment. So overall, the smart liner has good fitment. You can see where there's still some gap at the gas pedal, as well as on that footrest for your left foot. It does not go up as high on the inside as the weather tech. And you can already see where the carpet shows the outline of the weather tech mats from having them in a few weeks. It should be right over here. Overall, still really good fitment. And what we did notice, one of the biggest and common issues with the WeatherTech is the gap that was here. There appears to be just a very small gap on this one, but we'll give the win on this area, the smart liner, because of how the lip bends in towards the kick area instead of just being straight up. So it does add a little bit of benefit to it there. We also gave SmartLiner a little bit of an edge by letting it sit inside, unrolled for a week. Here on the WeatherTech, you can see that on the inside, it does go higher, protecting that carpet a little bit more. You still have the gap around the gas pedal to make sure that it's completely free and clear. But there is a larger gap on this side going up to the left of the accelerator pedal, whereas the smart liner will butt right up against the pedal itself. And still, just like the smart liner, that rest left foot kick plate is exposed in the weather tech. And of course, the biggest issue that we have is this gap right here. And it just does not go all the way up against the kick panel. And now we have the rear floor liners. 
Smart Liner is in the front and the WeatherTech is closest to me. Already we can see some differences. The WeatherTech has the advantage of being in the car for the last few weeks. So it's more prominently molded here on the arch versus the Smart Liner, which was laying inside for a week, is not as prominently molded here. So that would be maybe a design flaw. I'm not entirely sure. It does seem to not really wanna stay where I push it. One key pro to the Smart Liner as opposed to the WeatherTech for the rear is that these ridges appear to be a little bit deeper. So if you have frequent passengers in the back seat, the Smart Liner may be a better choice for the rear. Another key difference that I wanna point out is on this center hump molding right here. The Smart Liner has it very smoothed out while the WeatherTech has a more clearly defined notch. Now this design element is actually needed for the 22 calligraphy. Now let's install and see the differences. Overall, a very good vehicle fitment. It covers the hump, it covers the floor wells, it does everything that it needs to do. A couple of differences that we've noticed is that the WeatherTech appears to come up a little higher, just a little bit on this center here. And both of them tend to be a little loose behind the driver. And now back to the WeatherTech. So once again, really good fitment. Everything is smooth and well lined. You still have this looseness behind the driver. Other than that, pretty much the same product. And the only thing that I did see different was here on the WeatherTech, there's a pretty prominent gap between the seat rail and the liner itself. Really no big deal because it's up underneath the seat and it, it shouldn't cause any issues. But other than that, they are almost identical for fit. And now for our personal verdict. I would say that if you are looking for best bang for your buck, all weather floor liners, absolutely go with the Smart Liner. They are $60 cheaper on average. We'll post the link to them up. Uh, they're currently sold on Amazon right now. They're only about $130 as opposed to the WeatherTech weighing in at $200 after paying for shipping. So the Smart Liner, bang for your buck, absolutely. If you're going for uh, some very small detail oriented elements that we've noticed the differences between the Smart Liner and the WeatherTech, the WeatherTech is going to win. WeatherTech does have this clearly defined puddle catcher in the driver's side footwell as well as the passenger. We've noticed that some of the labels for the Smart Liners are already starting to peel up or aren't centered as well as some of the extra molding elements that Smart Liner has that are just not needed, not needed. And if you're still on the fence, kind of like we are, you might even try a blend and get Smart Liner in the back and WeatherTech in the front. We hope you, that this episode has been helpful and educational for you, as well as beneficial in making your decision on which all weather floor liners to get for your Hyundai Santa Fe. As always, stay safe. We'll see you next time.